this is Bonnie Griffin, scribe for Uncivilized Vitality, Genesee County Chapter. Um, this is a book review. This is Move Your DNA by Katie Pullman. Um, I was actually surprised that Dr. Mori didn't already have a review on Move Your DNA because he is a huge Katie Bowman fan. Um, he basically says anything she says is right and um, to be trusted and I completely agree. Um, he obviously knows a lot more about the human body and movement than I do, but um, I did have to read this book as part of my um, yoga teacher training that I took with Ethos here in Holly, Michigan. And um, I actually read it, the whole thing, and did the audiobook, which was really cool. I was able to get um, the audiobook through my library app for free. And um, just like Katie Bowman would, she really encouraged you to walk while you um, listen to the book. And by the time you were done, she told you how many miles and steps you walked, which was kind of cool. Um, so Katie Bowman is a biomechanist and if you're not familiar with her, um, you gotta go down the rabbit hole of Katie Bowman. She's got so much great information out there. She just came out with a new book. She's got a million books um, and they're all great. I was lucky enough to see her in Nashville in person. Um, she did a little seminar on mom and baby movement, which was really cool, but she's really down to earth. Um, I know Dr. Morey's met her as well. Um, and um, really just enjoys talking with her. But um, yeah, this book specifically, I think, um, I haven't read all of her books, but I have um, read a few, and I think this book is a really good overview of just movement in general. So um, first of all, you know, Katie talks about um, the difference between um, exercise and movement, which is a really important um, thing to think about. Uh, Katie does a really good job of explaining um, how to just get more movement in your daily life instead of thinking about it like, oh, I have to go work out for an hour and then be sedentary for the rest of the day, right? So she um, really promotes a lot of things that Uncivilized Vitality does as well, like sitting on the ground instead of in a chair um, and um, you know, walking. She's a huge um, long distance walker. She really believes in that because that's what our species did as hunter gatherers, right? So in UV, um, we really say 24 miles a week is ideal. Um, I'm not sure exactly what Katie says, but she definitely says walk more, always walk more. Um, Katie talks a lot about load and other like biomechanist language stuff that I was able to understand with not having this type of background. Um, so I thought that was uh, really great. Um, she really talks about the difference between what movement looks like as hunter-gatherers and what it looks like now and kind of how we need to bridge that gap. Um, at the end of the book, she has um, multiple what she calls exercise flows, and she also has like an exercise glossary. Um, a lot of these include releases, so she has like a abdominal release. Um, she has um, a calf stretch, things like that. Katie talks a lot about how when we are standing, we... Um, our pelvis is always over our toes and we need to back up the pelvis. I've heard her talk about that a lot. Um, and, you know, she's a big proponent of barefoot uh, shoes or walking barefoot because of the issues that come with high heels. Um, you know, she talks a lot about how we uh, hold tension and the releases for those. So there's like a jaw release, like I mentioned the abdominal release that are all really important. Um, these releases often have um, uh, props that go along with it, uh, so uh, bolsters, things like that. Um, and some of these, you know, as somebody with a yoga background, some of these look familiar, but they're just a little bit different. Um, and that's because she really understands this stuff on a deeper level. Um, she talks about hanging, which is so important. Um, and is something that um, we talk about in UV a lot as well. That's a skill um, and a, an action that um, our species would have done. We would have hung from things and we really don't 
do that um, much anymore. Um, she talks a lot about cross terrain as well. So, um, you know, walking is better than not walking, but our feet and our body wasn't really designed to walk on cement all the time, flat surfaces, you know. There's benefit to walking um, in natural terrain and um, that, you know, there's no way you're getting everything you need when it comes to sensory or different loads um, when you just walk on the cement, for example. Um, let's see, she also talks about a lot about um, alignment checks in here. I, not a ton in here, but she does um, talk about alignment checks. She does have a whole new book that's come out since this about um, alignment. Um, squatting which is something that we should be doing as a resting position that we don't do in this culture very well um lots of talk about the pelvis and how it's changed between um you know hunter gatherer days to now um walking's not optional she does a lot of talk about rainbow like a rainbow lunge or rainbow arm stretch and a lot of times that is her just explaining like um that you want to get all variations of movement in um a release or a stretch uh it's just you know really great uh, photos in here to explain what she's talking about. I really liked it. Um, I release, she's big, she's big on my myopia um, and how kids um, nowadays are having myopia at higher rates because they're not looking at things that are far away like we would have uh, before civilization, right? when we were uncivilized um, we would have looked as far as possible in the distance to scan for danger or just because we were walking right but now we're so often looking at things that are so close up and that's affecting um, our kids eyes releasing the ears that was a really good section that really spoke to um, my experience in life uh, is as someone who struggles with noise levels and how um, we aren't, we weren't designed to have all of this uh, auditory sensation that is mechanical or not natural. So right now I'm hearing the birds and things like that, but something's humming, you know, um, there's, you know, a lawnmower that keeps going on in the background. That's all fine, but she really talks about like, um, decibels and what you know like peak decibel would be in like a natural environment and what we typically get in our um life now and that's really concerning so she talks about you know the ear releases like how important it is to just you know find space where you can just be in natural sounds right um and the issue with sound pollution um, she makes a reference to um, zoos and how they affect animals. Um, the beginning of the book is about, um, I believe it's a killer whale, there's a picture in the front of the book, um, and how their dorsal fin is affected by only being able to, by um, living in captivity, because I, if I remember correctly it's related to only swimming in one direction right and how that affects them on a physical level versus how that never happens to um these whales out in um their natural environment and she makes that connection with us right how we see things in our physical body that um are only because we're civilized and we live in civilization basically um in uv uh terms so um yes great book like i said dr maury and uv would say read anything that katie bowman um puts out there um she does some good videos on instagram i think she has educational stuff on her website if i'm not mistaken um but yeah she's a great one if you are trying to get more natural movement in and you're trying to um maybe 
uh, address some things that you're having difficulty with in your body that are just a result of maybe sitting in front of a computer screen multiple you know um, hours a day things like that um, and it doesn't have to be overwhelming it can literally be okay when I'm on the computer I sit on the floor instead of in a chair you know she's good at helping you think outside of the box and how you can get more movement in um, she's really good at you know trying to um, get people to walk more places um, and I did hear her in a podcast one time talk about how like she when she grieved her father's death she felt like she grieved that if um, I'm not mistaken you know quicker and and more thorough because she was walking long distance to work um, regularly and that helped her to process so um, okay this is move your DNA by Katie Bowman uh, it's great. You should read it, listen to it, and um, read anything that she comes out with. Thanks.